हेलो वर्ल्ड वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम साहिल एंड यू आर वाचिंग थर्टी वीडियो ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट यूजर मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम विद एडमिन पैनल इन प्रीवियस वीडियो यू हैव सीन दैट हाउ आई हैव वर्क ऑन एडमिन नोटिफिकेशन सिस्टम नॉट टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू एक्सपोर्ट ऑल यूजर्स इन एक्सल सीट एंड लेटर वी विल ऑल्सो सी हाउ टू फिक्स सम बर्ग्स इन दिस प्रोजेक्ट ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट सो हेयर वेन एडमिन क्लिक ऑन दिस लिंक एक्सपोर्ट यूजर लिंक देन वी विल डाउनलोड ए एक्सल फाइल विथ ऑल यूजर्स ओके so for this open your project and then first open this file admin hyphen header dot php file okay now go to export user link okay so this is export user link now inside this href attribute i will use an url okay so here i will write assets slash php slash admin hyphen action dot php and then i will use question mark export equal to excel okay now here i am sending this uh, excel value using this export key by this url okay in this admin hyphen action dot php file so we have to handle this uh, url in admin hyphen action dot php file okay so before going to handle this url first we have to go to this file admin hyphen db dot php file and here i will define a method to fetch all the users from database okay so here just write fetch all users from db okay from database now here what i will do is i will write public function and here i will use export all users okay now inside this function i will use sql variable and in sql query i'll write select all from user table okay user table now next i will use statement variable and using this i will use con variable and then prepare method just call sql variable here now next just use statement and execute now next we have to grab all the rows in a variable so here i will use the result and then statement use fetch all method and here use pdo fetch sop okay now next here i will use return result okay now come to this file admin hyphen action dot php file here just write a comment first handle export all users in excel okay now here what i will do is i will check a condition using if a statement if it's set and then here i will use super global variable get okay because i am getting a value from and url that's why here i am using get super global variable okay so just write export and then check the value of export okay so here again i will use get and then export is equal equal to excel okay now here i will use some headers okay so let's use header function and then just use content uh hyphen type and here just write application slash xls okay now again use another header function and here just write content hyphen disposition disposition and here just write attachment attachment and just write file name okay file name equal to users dot xls now again use another header function and here just write pragma no cache okay no cache and uh, then just use one more time this header function and here just write expires and expires zero okay 
now next just use data variable and then using admin object call this export all user method and then use echo here i will use table tag okay so just write table table and uh, now inside in this table i will use some attribute like border equal to one and a line equal to center okay now just close the statement here now again use echo and here i will uh, i will design a table columns okay so here i will use tr tag okay now just inside this tr tag i will use th tag okay th tag and first i will display the user id so just use hash symbol and then i will display name then i will display email then i will display phone then gender and then get of birth and then joined on and verified and then sorry deleted okay now next just close the statement here now here i will use for each loop data as row okay now here i will use echo and then i will define the uh, row of columns okay so again here i will use tr tag now here i will use td tag inside this okay so just use td sorry td and here i will display id of user okay so just use row variable and then write id similarly here i will display name so just write name and here i will display email so just write email okay and then i will display phone so just write phone and here just write gender here i will display date of birth here i will display created underscore at and here i will display verified and here i will display deleted okay now close the tr tag here now next what i will do is i will use echo and uh, then i will close the table tag here okay close and done okay now let's go to the browser and refresh now click on this link export user now here you can see a dialog and a file name users.xls now click on save so here you can see a file users.xls has been saved now when you click this file then this file open in excel click on yes then here you will get all the users in a uh, table format okay so this is working fine now close this now next what i will do is i will fix a bug so the bug is when we uh, go to this user page and delete any user from here and uh, uh, if we uh, still if any user still logged in uh, here in users area and admin delete the user then let's see what happens okay so first login with this user and here you can see the user is now logged in now if you go come here and delete this user okay so if you go to profile so the email of this user is this so i will delete this user okay click on delete yes delete it now you can see user is deleted and if we come here in users area and refresh then you can see this type of error okay and the user is not automatically log out from this page okay so to fix this error what we have to do is uh, let's open this file uh, sorry project and uh, first what i will do is i will 
send an ajax request from users area files okay so like this home.php file okay so click on this home.php file and from here what i will do is just go below and here i will write some comment first checking user is logged in or not okay and here i will directly use ajax function sorry ajax function now inside this ajax function what i will do is i will use url then i will send to this file assets slash php slash action sorry action dot php okay now next i will use method method post and next i will use data and in data i will send a string using this action key check user okay now here in success uh, what i will do is i will use function and response for now i am using console dot log to display the response okay now we have to handle this ajax request in this file action.php file okay so open this file so uh, go to asset folder and then php folder and open this action.php file now just go below and here what i will do is i will write a comment first checking user is logged in or not okay now here i will use if a statement and then using each set function i will use super global variable post action and then here i will check the value of action check user okay now next again i will use if a statement and then here i will check the current user is still present in session or not okay so here i will uh, use this exclamation mark and then using user object i will call current user method that is already defined in uh, auth.php file if we open this then here you can see this is the current user method okay now again here come and here i will pass the user id sorry user email id okay that is stored in the session so here i will use session variable and write user okay now here i will send a string by to the client and i will also use unset and then i will unset the session variable user okay now next what i will do is come to this uh, home.php file and here in console log i will just use if a statement okay here i will check response is equal equal to by then in this case i will use window dot location equal to index dot php file okay sorry index dot php file so we will redirect it to index dot php file okay save this now go come here and refresh now we have to log out manually because this user is deleted now next go to admin panel and go to deleted users now restore this user pack okay now let's try to log in with this user again so you can see the user is logged in successfully now next let's delete this user now okay so if we delete this user again here now user is deleted now if we go to users area and when user refresh this page then you can see user automatically redirected to this page index.php page and user log out automatically okay so this is the only one bug in this project
okay if you find any other bug then you can comment down uh, then i will try to fix that bug okay so okay now this project has been finished and uh, this is the last video of this project i hope you enjoyed a lot while developing this whole project if still you have any issue regarding this project then comment down your issue i will try to fix your problem okay so thanks for watching this video please like this video and share this project playlist playlist link is given in this description box and also don't forget to subscribe this channel see you soon uh, in next video